Survey results show that an estimated 47,000 amphibians and small mammals could be trapped in gully pots across Perth and Canross each year. Roadside gully pots are essential for road drainage, but small animals fall through and between 60 and 70 percent of gully pots checked each year by the ranger service contain wildlife. In one of the problem areas, the ranger service has been piloting a new type of curbstone, which allows small animals to bypass the danger zone. A local school is assisting with surveys to establish how well the curbs work. The countryside rangers came to me and asked if I would be interested in helping her out with a survey. As I left in most pots and gullies, when I go and clean them out, and we found that there was animals in there that shouldn't have been in there or could have been better in the wildlife. So quite often what, what animals will do is they'll just follow the edge of the curve like this, and the curve would normally um, direct them into a gully pot, so they'd fall into the gully pot. But this new wildlife curve has a recess which allows the, the animal to follow the inside recess um, and bypass the danger zone of the gully. Our survey today shows that there's nothing in them, so I'm hoping that uh, all's good and it can be spread out throughout the countryside. Uh, well, it's really important because like, the food chain and that, uh, we want to keep it healthy by saving the frogs' lives. And like, if like the amount of frogs we've saved here, but like and all across Persia and that, it would just be amazing how much we've actually saved. Amphibian and reptile conservation have been in touch about helping to progress the, the project across Perth and Kinross. So it's had a really, really good response and the animal welfare charity PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, they've awarded Perth and Kinross a special Proggy Award for uh, the work we've been doing here.